Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Jeanette Biro here. I'm a medium and a channeler and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from spirit. I'm using the same deck, the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. And let's see what we have for Friday. I am going to pull a few extra ones today because I'm just, I don't know, I'm feeling like things are going down, not downwards, but like happening, events occurring, things unfolding, things being revealed, movement taken in your path. And I remember yesterday we talked about progress. So let's see if Spirit can clarify a little bit more because yes, that's right. Yesterday was about reviewing where we're at, our foundations, our focus uh, to bring in those beautiful pairings and partnerships. So let's see what they want to share about this weekend coming in. One more shuffle here. Let's see. Amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Progress, things happening, goodness. I love this. So remember from yesterday, we start off here with the Grail Knight. So remember, this was representing the, excuse me, this was representing um spirit coming in these divine partnerships coming in these divine energies coming in because of the frequency you're holding so this is the first card out today this is saying this is like the core piece of what's happening now everything that's surrounding this arrival of energies is some this is just really cool first of all first card is the truth card so they're saying Trust that the energy that you're bringing in and what you're calling forward, what you're feeling is aligning with you is the truth. Know your truth and stick with it. You can open up to new ideas. You can change it if it aligns with you, but know your truth because as you stand in that, you're bringing that energy forward. You're bringing that, those divine knowings, those divine desires, those things you've been working on are coming forward. The other thing too is they're saying if you stay in an energy of joy. And this isn't like, um, you know, excessive blissful joy. This is just like happiness in your heart, lightheartedness in your heart, living in the moments when they bring extra joy. When you stay in that frequency, you have a greater ability to bring these things forward. So this is saying stay in that energy of joy. And when you come across those moments of joy, really live in it, live it up, drink it up, soak it in, because that helps you hold your frequency. Now, in addition to that, this protection card is coming out. And this is really, again, speaking to this energy of things coming to you because you restated your foundations, you reviewed them, you adjusted and whatever, you've put yourself in an energy of protection of, you know, when your frequency is high enough, you're not as easily affected, bothered by lower frequencies. The same can go for when you really consider what thoughts you put into your mind, what, um, news narratives you listen to when you hold what feels right for you you're then not as easily taken down by say fear narratives or negative people you have a better ability to be like mm, that may be your truth but it's not mine and that's okay so that's one example of it but you're also very protected by universal energies by the spirit world by your guides they're really working in your favor and so these two just come together so beautifully because the night really Part of the purpose of the night, and this is that Grail Night card, is to serve as a protector. So how beautiful is that? And again, this is all happening because things are going down. Things are happening. Things are unfolding. And the reason why I'm really saying that, and I love this, is because we then have the Merlin card. And this card is about alchemy, justice, and balance. This is about the universe being represented here as Merlin. And the universe really getting involved to make those divine alignments happen, to make the story unfold in the way in which it needs to, to have you on your path, to answer the focused intent you've been putting out there. This card is really a um, beautiful example of that. Events happening, alchemy taking place, things transforming, uh, transmuting, transitioning. There's many different things. So Notice what is going down for you. You will see the truths of them happening. Um, 
if not already starting this weekend for many of you and they may for some it may be really big for some it may be smaller things but again this being a general reading take the parts that resonate there'll be certain things that i say certain images certain ideas that'll really resonate and when that does that's the message for you it's, it's beautiful it could be the whole reading it could be parts of it but consider the truth of what's coming forward and hold your frequency in an energy of joy, in an energy of um, like peace and trusting that everything is going to be okay. So I love this. This is a great, great reading moving into the weekend. I'm so excited, especially by this one, like the Merlin card when this comes out. This is fabulous because this is stuff happening. So beautiful blessings to each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, if you're wanting to dive into your own journey too and take a deeper look at what's going on in your path, definitely check out avalonspirit.com. Uh, we have different journey guides from astrology to uh, spiritual hypnosis, mediumship, of course, uh, healing, all this kind of stuff. If that feels aligned with you, that is a beautiful avenue to have someone help you on your journey. Um, but otherwise, keep being you keep following your flow you guys and i so look forward to seeing you all on monday